We're back today with a brand new palette. This time I've got my favorite kind of palette. We got electronics. So what came on this was two very large boxes that weigh probably 25 or so pounds a piece, give or take a few pounds. And uh, price point, price point. These two boxes have a full Amazon.com manufacturer suggested retail price of $1,731. That's is only if everything was brand new. That's the brand new MSRP on Amazon. It's 17, 1731. But this is custom return, so it will be used. There will be damaged. There will be some stuff that's totally trash. But some stuff will still be brand new. So what my cost was, what I paid, was $209. So still not bad. A little bit more than I like to pay. But uh, I try to keep it around 10%. And this was probably, without doing all the math in my head, maybe like 12, 13% is what I paid, maybe in that range. I, I could be off, but uh, just guesstimating. But what we're gonna do here is go through these two boxes, let's see what I got, and I'll show you real life liquidation uh, boxes that were liquidated by Amazon. Stuff that you can actually get in Amazon liquidations. Here we go, first one. Um, I see several big box items right on top. I'm gonna pull this thing out first. So we'll just go through some stuff one at a time. And uh, if anything is like ultra fancy or might be kind of expensive, I'll look it up right on the spot and kind of see Amazon prices on it. And the first thing is one of them. Like I am not good on computer components computer accessories I just have never really I've never dabbled much in reselling computer stuff just because it is a highly scammed area of people uh, buying one item sending back some totally different so there's the liquid cooler looks to all be there looks like it doesn't look like it's used or anything it's all still nicely like factory packaged. So like this first item, I'm gonna look it up because I have no clue how much this is. Some uh, computer cooler fans can go for, you know, some pretty low prices. But since this is like a liquid thing, this might be a little bit more expensive, expensive than what I'm expecting. But I'm just using the Amazon seller app to look up prices. And the UPC says it is, oh, that's, yeah, that's pretty good. So this first item, Amazon.com, it retails for $140.99. That's a good first item. I paid $209. That right there paid for like, what, 6% of the entire palette in the, in the first item. But if it sells new for $140, then obviously this, you know, I won't ever sell this as like, brand brand new because i don't know if it actually is or not so i probably sell this thing for honestly probably about 100 bucks or so maybe as high as 120. that's not bad that's a good first item i like it i like it next we've got a my q smart garage hub i've sold these before some of these can actually go for once again some pretty decent prices on the chamberlain it is all there Oh, it hasn't even been used yet. It still has a little thing that you pull out for its first use. So it's open box, but it still has those removable tabs in the, like the, the little sensor part. So that's actually good news. That means that it's never actually been installed or programmed to anybody or anybody's uh, garage. And this thing sells, it sells new for $46.55 on Amazon. Another good item open box item you know easily 30 bucks i bet this so far has been too bad we got our first three foot iphone cord repticide day night timer great for use with the following products probably not too expensive 
see. A solar power bird bat animal pest repeller outdoor electronic motion detector alert sensor by Pyle. Huh. Yeah, it's all in there. So we got a bird sensor. I'm gonna look it up because I. So far, the first few things this palette's actually been some pretty decent items. So this thing on Amazon is 33 bucks new. So I'd sell it for like 20 then. Let's see. Oh, cool. We got a PlayStation 4 game. First one, Wolfenstein Youngblood. Actually, this one I might have to keep too. Here we go. Is, is it in there? Yes. Wolfenstein Youngblood. Cool, but I might have to actually keep the game just to, just to try it out, see if I like it. Is there any codes? I don't see any. That's not bad, though. I'm sure this probably sells for 20, 30 bucks maybe, but I might keep it. Might sell it. I'll figure it out. Next, we've got, oh, we got a money box, a cash box by First Alert. Well, that thing's still all... Factory wrapped up in the, in the packaging too. We're actually talking about having a yard sale or a garage, I always call it yard sale, a garage sale here pretty soon. Like our annual, like uh, late summer garage sale. And I actually need a new cash box because the last one I sold it, since we didn't have a garage sale for almost two year, year or so. It's summer. So I just sold it. So I actually might hold on to this just to use for our garage sale. Just to hold all the money and everything. Why not? Next. Oh, we got a laptop stand, a cooler stand. I saw things for like 15 bucks. Oh, we got a record. We got a record. Records always come whenever they're like shipped back to Amazon. They're shipped back in these like cardboard sleeves most of the time because that's how they got them. Oh, nice. Look at that. Black Sabbath, the ultimate collection. That's kind of awesome. So it folds out up and down. Okay, that's actually. It's one of those that folds out, kind of like a cross. See what I'm saying? Then actually, it does fold out as a cross. And it's got all the records in that part. Okay, that's ultra cool. I'm not the biggest Sabbath fan, so I don't really have to keep this item. Uh, I mean, I do like a, a little bit of Sabbath from time to time, but I'm not like, you know, a Sabbath fan. It sells new for $51. This is opened up. I mean, it's practically, there's not a blemish on this item anywhere. So I'd probably, honestly, I'd probably try to sell for like $35 or so. What I would try to sell it for. That might be a little high. That might be a little low. It might be more like $40 used. But I'm thinking... Just from experience, it'll probably go for like 35, you know, since the seal's been broken on it. Oh, we got some more. Oh, I thought it was a PS4 game. It is To Sir With Love. The Blu-ray, the disc, or the, the, the case is like destroyed. It's literally falling apart. Let's see. We got a skin for an Alexa. Oh, cool. Xbox One. Rage 2. Is it in there? Yep, it is in there. Yep, this looks good. Rage 2. I've got this game before in pallets. I don't think it's very expensive. Probably like, what, 20 bucks or so? Maybe 25, something like that. We've got a CD of Bohulas Martinu. Probably, I don't, I've never heard of them. Kensington, Slim Blade, Trackball. 
That looks kind of fancy. What kind of value do we have on this thing? So this thing retails for $99.95 on Amazon. I couldn't get it pulled up on my phone, but just with the online search, 100 bucks new and uh, lightly used. Honestly, probably like what, 60 bucks or so in that range. So far, this has been pretty good palette so far. The first box has been fantastic. We just have a, some kind of clock. Oh, 12 times HDMI splitter. Or not 12 times, one time, you know, two HDMI splitter. Oh, it's like 10 bucks on that. Got another record? Okay, oh, cool. I do have this one, yes. I do have this one already. I've already have a Thriller. So this one will be for sale. Let me see what the record looks like condition wise. Oh, it looks, looks like there's no scratches on it. There's nothing. Good shape. So records now, I'm actually selling them for $16. I was selling them for $16 shipped. I was selling them for $15 shipped, but USPS raised all of the shipping rates. A couple months ago, like July 1st, so they raised shipping rates, then I have to raise you know, my shipping rates. Records, I sell for shipped price because they're cheaper to ship. It's a flat rate across the country. So yeah, records like this is a $16 shipped, flat shipping for US shipping. A few things left this box. iPhone cord. We have, oh, like a converter for your iPhone so you can plug in a USB-C. La Karama. DVD, it is in there. You know, a few, a few bucks on that. Two things left in this box. We've got The Good Guys, the complete first season. Never even heard of that show. 2014? Never heard of that show. Maybe that's why it maybe only lasted. It's missing some discs though. <laughs> so it's got disc three, disc four, and the rest are gone. So this is incomplete. It's missing two out of four discs. So, then a brand new CD, Factory Seal. That's it, that's it for the first box. So, that wasn't too bad. The first box was not too bad. I'm already in profit from what I paid, so that's fantastic. Let's do the next box. Box number two. Here we go. Hopefully, this one's also as good as the first one. I think that first one, as I was packing stuff back up, uh, there's, I don't really know the, the, like, the total or tally yet, but, I bet at least like 300, maybe as high as four. I could be, I could be low on that. But this looks, this looks good. Right on top, I see a stack of records. Go ahead, let me pull these out. I don't, I don't want to peek at them yet too much because I love doing my records. Let's see, any more records in there to pull out? No, what's, what's that? Pull this thing out first. Shimano. That brand. That brand sounds familiar. But it's okay. It's not fetter sealed. It's been it's just been retaped by somebody else. Sealed. Do not remove. But it has been. Yeah. Somebody's put masking tape or clear tape back on it. Let's see. Is this? Oh. <laughs> I was say that was a watch. Now this is actually a really nice fishing reel. Well, maybe a nice one. It's not spinning. Um, might have tinker with this thing a little bit. Figure out why. Oh, that there it goes. Got it. Cool, that's nice. That is nice. Uh, some of these fishing reels can go for some pretty good money. I've sold quite a few for uh, like, some of them can go in like the hundreds of dollars and that is not a joke. Man, these things, oh, they're so hard to get back into this once you actually pull them out the first time. 
like a jigsaw puzzle trying to get them back in where they're supposed to go. It only fits a certain way. And of course, I pulled it out originally. It didn't like take a visual memory snapshot of how to get it back in. Let's put it off to the side for now. Until I figure out how to get it back into the box. Um, let's book this thing up. Is that right? Whoa, I'm looking this thing up. The Shimano Stratic C, looks like I4, 4000 XG spinning fishing reel with front drag. Wow. Amazon right now, it's on it's on sale for $228 right now. $228 for this fishing reel. I knew that some of these can get kind of expensive. I did not expect it to be that expensive. That is kind of a crazy price I did not expect. Wow. So, I mean, it looks like it might have been very, very, very lightly used. That probably go for at least half price of what it would sell for new. So, I mean, if it sells, if it sells new for a... Uh, 230 pretty much. This probably easy to be one probably one as high as 150, I bet. That's awesome right there. I like that. I like that kind of stuff. Let's see. Next we got we it looks like an iPhone case. iPhone 6 Plus case. Case is gonna sell for a few bucks. We have just a paper folder. MP3 and FM receiver. Fuck your vehicle. Bluetooth receiver. That's nifty. Oh, there's it's got a remote for it. There's all the connections. Okay, this hasn't even been hooked up yet. I like seeing that when it hasn't even been hooked up yet. Oh yeah, I mean it's that's all it's all still brand new. So once again, this is like just like an open box item. There's been quite a few pretty decent stuff in this in these first two boxes so far. It's pretty decent stuff. So this thing sells new for $14.99. Wow. That's not very expensive. Let's see. Oh, uh, we have a looks like a white Sharpie. Another phone case, an Alexa skin, solar motion sensor light. Yeah, this thing's thing's pretty cheap, off brand. You know, I'll be lucky to get five, ten bucks out of that. Mean streak, drives in minutes, permanent marking stick, sharpie. Then oh, we have a radar detector. We have a Whistler. I haven't got one of these out in pal for a long time. Whistler model number XTR-130. So this retails for $43. Obviously, it's it's you, so about 25 bucks I bet on that. Earth pack, dry bag gear protection, 10 liter, with a foam uh, protector in it also. Probably good 15, 20 bucks I bet. Electronics. So it makes sense to have a box of like little putt putt golf pencils in the electronics. That makes sense. I totally get that. Oh, another, is that the same one? It is. Another Whistler XTR 130 radar detector. So we got two of them in this one box. I think I said like what, 25 bucks a piece? So two of them. Not bad. Take it. We got Alpha Glass for iPhone X. Three foot iPhone cord. There's probably several in there for the size box. It's still factory sealed. Oh, cool. We got a Rugged Pro Zagbook for iPad Pro and iPad Air 2. That's nice. That still looks really good, like package. Look this thing up. Usually these, these Zags go for about 100 bucks or so, in that range. 
Zag, $99.93. So, sales new for a hundred bucks. This condition, that's good, $75. It looks like it, I mean, it looks like it's new still. It doesn't look used, so 75 bucks. iPhone cords. We got lots of smalls coming up here. We have <laughs> just a pack of new batteries. Universal power adapter. Another phone case. These, yeah, these are uh, Bluetooth headphones. Big bulky things though. They're very, very large, bulky Bluetooth headphones. Let's see. Invicta. This is a watch. Yes, it is. Looks nice. Has good weight to it. Still has the cover on the watch. Has the cover on the band. This still has the original cover on it. So it's never even been tried on by anybody. Somebody bought it and they just straight just returned it. That's a nice watch. Let's see, is there a barcode exposed? Model number 8934 is the model. Okay, this thing is the Invicta Men's 8934 Pro Diver Collection Two-Tone Stainless Steel Watch. Sales new for $49.63. So new is 50 bucks. This thing is 100% brand new, but I still always beat Amazon prices. So this I probably sell for about 40 bucks. Brand new, very, very nice, like diver's watch. That is nice. Let's see, it's been a good palette. We got a thing of batteries. Oh, falling out of the, what size is that? Is that D? Yeah, D batteries. Let's see, then we have all oh, this pin that came out. Backbeat Fit Plantronics headphones. There's, it's not FedEx Steel, it's just uh, Amazon poly bags. They're in there. See how much these sell for. Sell new, actually they sell used on Amazon. It pulled up used for some reason. They sell used for $57.95 used. So it's a good 50 bucks. Let's see, got some more smalls coming out. Got iPhone cord and then HDMI. Got a Memorex. Oh, this is a little, little uh, radio. Eh, interesting. Some AA batteries. A note dispenser. Nothing says electronics like putting in a post-it note dispenser, right? That makes sense. And we have, oh, we got a switch game. Fashion band case for your Apple Watch. Wolfenstein Youngblood Deluxe Edition. Nintendo Switch. Oh. Is this a disc only? Yeah, this is the download card. No game card is included. So it has a download card in it. It's probably used. More than likely, the download has probably been used. So let's see. We've got wall charger, more iPhone cords, iPhone cord, iPhone, very short iPhone cord. We have a ream of paper right here. Put it right back in there. We have three of the D batteries that spilled out of that box from like a couple minutes ago. Then we've got bass drum essentials for the drum set. CD, some kind of a clamp. Then everyone these markers. And all that's left now is a small stack of records to see what, what we got. First one, we've got the Steel Drivers Reckless. I've never heard of them. Steel Drivers, probably a country band of it, more than likely. Next, we've got, oh cool, Bruce Springsteen's Greatest Hits. 
I'll probably honestly keep Bruce Springsteen. I don't have any Bruce Springsteen records at all. Oh, it looks really good. So I probably honestly will keep Bruce Springsteen. More than likely. Greatest hits you got. Born to Run, Thunder Road. Let's see. Born in the USA. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's got Streets of Philadelphia. It's got all his, all his hits on here. I'll probably keep Bruce. Next, we've got... Oh, this thing's factory sealed still. This has not been opened up yet. Sigur Rose Argid I can't read that. It's in a different language. Factory sealed still. The back of it is in a different language, all the songs. It looks like yeah, like a baby with wings that's praying, but it kinda of has like a alien head. It's different. Yeah. So, brand new, still factory sealed. That might be like 20 shift or so, maybe in that range. Then we've got Young the Giant, Mind Over Matter record. Next, we've got 2001 A Space Odyssey motion picture soundtrack. And in the Amazon poly bag. And then we've got, oh, I'm keeping this. I don't have this. The Jimi Hendrix Experience. Are you experienced? Yeah, I'm keeping this. I do not have this record. This one we're looking at Purple Haze, Manic Depression, Hey Joe, The Wind Cries Mary, Fire, Foxy Lady. Wow, this is, this is probably, honestly, the best record that Jimmy put out was uh, Are You Experienced? Yeah, that's actually a really, really good album. Very happy with that. So I'll probably be keeping Jimmy and keeping Bruce Springsteen. And last one, oh, cool. Legend, the best of Bob Marley and the Wailers. I don't have any Bob Marley records, so I'm going to keep this one on too, actually. You've got uh, Three Little Birds, Buffalo Soldier, Get Up, Stand Up. I mean, I Shot the Sheriff, Waiting in Vain. Exodus, Jammin', it's got all of his hits. Because it is the greatest hits. Record. It's in good shape, too. It's used, but it's in good, good shape. So, that's freaking awesome. So I'm keeping Bob Marley, Jimi Hendrix, and Bruce, Sp uh, Bruce Springsteen records. So that's awesome. Three more records to add to my record collection. So, that's what we got. That is the two box Electronics palette that was valued at, was it $17.31? I think this is a fantastic palette. There was a lot of value in this palette. I got it for 200 and whatever I said. I think I have it pulled up in 209. Yeah, 209. I got way over my money back. So this two box palette is going to be pretty profitable. I like this. This is going to be a pretty profitable palette. So that is fantastic. So. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I will see you again next time. I'm out.